Hi, this is Diana, your favorite astro nerd, and it is end of July. Uh, it has been a great summer so far. I have been able to photograph uh, some of my dream galaxies, the uh, Whirlpool Galaxy, Penguin Galaxy, the Black Eye Galaxy. <laughs> uh, summer continues, uh, humidity is very high, and uh, it's getting a little bit more difficult to photograph. So uh, on those nights that I have a very short uh, window of time that I know that I can photograph something maybe in an hour. Well, what I'm doing is just star clusters. Uh, this uh, tutorial for beginners like me, uh, Beginners Plus, it is about uh, star reduction, but it's on star clusters. Uh, right now, there's the, the new scripts, uh, Bill's uh, star reduction, which I think is amazing and I was able to try it in one of my nebulas and it worked great, but I couldn't make it work on a star cluster. Uh, I just finished photographing the uh, fox head star cluster and obviously the star clusters is all about the stars, so I couldn't figure out, I mean, uh, a star cluster, <laughs> starless, didn't sound right to me. What the? <laughs> I think uh, star clusters, obviously, uh, there's got to be some star reduction because like in this last target, the uh, fox head star cluster, I mean, it's so many stars that you can barely see the uh, cluster itself. Most of the people won't be able to notice it. So I have to do a little bit of cleaning and uh, remove some of them. I don't know about you, but I go to bed and I'm like this. I can't sleep. I'm just thinking on this. So in one of those dreams that I have, I, I thought, well, how about if I create a star mask using uh, extracting the luminance and I just use the clone step, cover up those um, areas in the star cluster, <laughs> apply the mask, and do a star reduction uh, using the morphological whoa, transformation. <laughs> the uh, process or the technique that I'm going to show right now, it worked great for me, uh, for my preference, for the uh, way I like to edit uh, the star clusters. Uh, it may not work for you. Maybe you don't like it. I like it. This is a process that um, it was just improvised. I came up with it. Uh, somebody else did it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, sorry, but um, <laughs> I take it as a big success for me that uh, I was able to actually think on this and uh, do this process and I think in the end was uh, the result, I, I like it. I already uh, did the calibration um, and I am going just to show my uh, images, different filters so you can see, oh, that's a lot of stars. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want that many stars in the photo. You can't tell where, <laughs> where is the, uh, uh, Fox head star cluster right here. That is the luminance, the red, blue, and green. I like to use um, the uh, easy processing suite. Uh, the Easy Decon, I did use this one. Uh, the Denoise, I didn't use this one. Um, I used the um, Noise Exterminator script. And I did uh, dynamic background extraction on each of the colors and then I combine everything. Uh, and then I got an image And um, 
Obviously, there's a lot of noise, but this is a good uh, moment to show the uh, noise exterminator. So let me just go ahead and uh, do a quick stretching here. I like to use the histogram transformation. Sometimes the uh, soft stretch from the easy pro uh, processing suite works well, but sometimes I really don't like it. So I just prefer to do it right here, like uh, the good old days. <laughs> okay. Let's just continue here. Uh, one of the uh, things that uh, the um, noise exterminator recommends is to do it as early as possible. You can do it on any uh, step of the editing after the image has been uh, stretched, that it is uh, non-linear. But um, they recommend, they also recommend that the early on you do it during the editing process, the best results. I just want to show how it works. Uh, if some of you don't know what I'm talking about, the noise exterminator, um, here it is. And I'm just going to use the settings as it is. And let's just see what happens. And there it is. So that was pretty easy. I think that looks okay. Let's see the before and after. And if it's too much, you can play with the uh, different settings, uh, which I have done a little bit with other photos, but uh, this is pretty fast and pretty, pretty good to me. Okay, very good. So right now, this is where I am. And now I am going to work a little bit with the histogram transformation as I learned from so many of your tutorials. And I am going to give it a little bit of light more so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And that should be probably fine. I just want to see where I am and mostly for me to be very obvious to see the core of the star cluster, which is right here. And I want to keep all of these beautiful big stars that are around. I want to keep those. I don't want to cause any damage to them. And let me just go ahead, apply this to my luminance mask. We're going to close here. Get ready for the crazy, the crazy photo weekend method. <laughs> Ta -da! And I said, okay, well, let me just go ahead and use the clone stamp. stamp. And um, the radius is going to be 40 because I don't want to be here all night deleting stuff. But I'm just going to pick And I just started working a little bit in some of the um, big stars, okay. because I want to protect those. And I started working with them one by one. 
didn't take me too long because it doesn't have to be perfect. I just uh, need to cover this ones. So the uh, morphological transformation doesn't affect them too much. And let me just go ahead and finish this process. Um, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. You don't have to see me all the time doing this control click and clone stamp. On the core of the um, star cluster, which is right here, well, I started changing. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> This is a little bit crazy, huh? It is. Oh, well, it's okay. Somebody has to do it. Okay. And I'm just going to get uh, more or less here, the uh, core of the star cluster because I don't want to touch it with the morphological transformation, which is going to be a star reduction. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and continue with some of the uh, beautiful stars that I don't want to touch. And I continue working on it, and any area or big stars that I don't want to touch, I just clone stamp them. Paint them in black. This is uh, the uh, luminum mask that I came up with, and I can still work a little bit more on this, but you're going to see the results. I think it's okay, it's acceptable. So if you have experience with Photoshop, then you can use the clone stamp. I think it's very useful. Instead of trying to get everything with the range uh, selection tool, and oh my goodness, sometimes everything, it's so difficult. Look, let's just pop. Let's just do it like that. And here I'm going to bring my um, first try image. And I am going to use my uh, clone stamp, stamp, I don't know how to say it, uh, luminance mask. And it's going to be the one that I'm going to use to do a star reduction. <laughs> yes, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. Let me just get the tr morphological transformation. And I am going to use the first one, number three, with nine elements, which is pretty much a lot. Uh, big stars and everything. And let's just see how, what happens. Ha! 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 That is okay with me. I don't know about you, but that is okay with me. So here we have my first uh, star reduction and I don't think it touched too much the uh, core of the star cluster. So this is where we are right now. And now I am going to go, and how about if we use a 17? Very, very tiny. How about a 19? Okay. Let's see what happens. So we're just going to use a very, very tiny portion of the stars. Ha! Huh. <laughs> that, I think, is a little bit too much. Okay, so let's just go ahead and revert that one. And um, let's try uh, 25. And I think um, maybe we can go... How about 60? Let's just give it a try. Huh? That's not bad. Okay. I think that looks pretty decent right there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You tell me. I mean, I post this photo the way it is right now. That's not bad at all. I mean, people are going to see that's the core of the fox head star cluster, which is uh, my point here. Yes, I did it. Oops, I did it again. 
Thank you.